Oh, hey, it's Machen again. I did say we were going to talk to Machen, so let's say hello. Mr. Rin's shops are all over Spira. They are quite convenient when you're on the road. Oh, okay. He doesn't want to give us an essay today. Nice. I believe this dude, this dude behind the counter, you can you can invite to your Blitzball team. I believe he's pretty good as well, but we got to wait for this guy to move first. I believe. Uh, we're not going to bother buying anything just yet. What's up, Lulu? This might be the last time we can rest like this. And Shalinda as well. I've heard that the proprietor, Mr. Rin, is in Albed. Well, it's an Albed shop, so that makes sense. I was relieved to find that he keeps nothing sacrilegious here. Cool. That sunset was different from the one I saw in Kilika. It was quiet, almost gentle. What you up to? <laughs> Pretty. Sure is. I wish I could live in a place like this. Peaceful. Living with a smile on my face every day. You can, once you beat sin, right? <laughs> but then, a new sin will be born anyway. Well, then you can just beat it again. I wish I could. Hey, you can. Trust me, you are the best summoner out there. Yuna, why does sin always come back? Sin is our punishment for our vanity. And it will not go away until we've atoned. How do we do that? Mm. What did we do that was so bad in the first place? Ah. Was it using lots of machina or something? Oh. Wait, was that such a bad thing, really? Uh, it's funny. Hmm? Ever since I was young, I never questioned it. But now that you ask me if it is that bad or not, I don't know. There are so many things I don't know. Well, then we're the same. Such thinking is very unbecoming of a summoner. Sound like Micah? <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice, you know. You know, during a game, you have to think of Blitz and nothing else, you know? Okay. Mm. Ah. You can't think, that's a cute girl in the fifth seat from the right. And you can't be thinking about where you're going to go on that date, because the minute you do, that's when you lose. You see, uh, Yuna, what I mean is, you really shouldn't worry, you know? After we beat Sin, that's when you can worry about the future. I guess. But Yuna, how are you supposed to beat something big like that? The final summoning. It's the only way to defeat Sin. The only way. With it, we can call the final Aeon. That's the goal of the pilgrimage. The faith of the final summoning lies waiting in the far north to greet summoners that complete their pilgrimage. At the world's edge in Xanarkand. In Xanarkand? Uh, uh. 
She means the ruins of a city destroyed a thousand years ago. You sure it's ruins? That's what I've heard. You'll see it for yourself soon enough. Yuna, come back inside. You will go with us to Xanarkand? Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> I'll go to Xanarkand to see it with my own eyes. I knew it couldn't be my Xanarkin, but I had to make sure. At the end of the last episode, we also had the sleeping, black scream and he's snoring. So is he, is he napped twice? By the way, Rop, there he is. Uh, he's level five. He's not in a team. His contract is zero games. His salary is 200 gil. But we're going to sign the boy for 10 games. Nice. Um, oh. You're a guardian, right? I think this will help. Ah, oh, thank you. The sphere money will teach you how to use it. Um, yes. Don't worry about it. We can sort that out as we come to it. I need to sneeze. Gonna mute my mic before I sneeze. Nailed it. Oh god, nailed it. Let's talk to the gang here. Man, I'm beat. I woke up early for nothing. There are so many things I want, I can't decide what to get. Oh, okay, so this sphere here on the floor is an Albed Primer Sphere. If I press X on it, then I can learn all the language that I've learned from previous save files. I'm not going to do that because I like the uh, the naturalness of it. Of learning the uh, the language for the first time as we go. But it's good to know. Yeah? It's good to know. Binta Sa. Sorry? Ah, uh, forgive me, sir. I meant to say pardon me, but it came out in Albed. Oh, you're in Albed. Mm hmm. I am Rin. Owner of this establishment. Hello, Dusadwi. Huh? It means nice to meet you. Ah, well, uh, Heli Dusadwi to you too. Mm hmm. If you are interested, Elbed primers can be found all over Spira. Finding them and learning our language might be fun. Here, let me give you one in commemoration of our meeting. Although you might want to be careful where you speak our language. Nice. Number eight. We're still getting them. Apart from number three, we've got every single one so far. Titus has achieved the rank of Albed Typeman. Yeah, I hear Albed aren't liked much. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. <sighs> A decky Krisa. That's our cue. Let's go. Huh? Oh, thank you for your help. Please, use this. Thank you, bruh. Huh? Okay, so. Last episode, we heard about a large fiend eating chocobos. And something tells me that's what's going to happen right about now. That's where we're going to go. So, we'll do the sphere grid real quick. Titus is moving on up in the world. He's going to get an extra 200 health points, an extra 1 strength, and an extra 1 accuracy. And then we can move over here, and we can learn one, oh, 2 agility, and lastly, 
two defense. Nice. That's a pretty good upgrade for Titus. Rucker's going to go over here. He's going to learn this new ability, which is going to be Extract Ability, which is the same. As, it, it does the same as Extract Speed. Makes the enemy drop ability spheres. And 200 health points. And another strength buff. Two strength. Nice. Auron. It's going to get an extra 200 health points. And an extra 200 health points. Uh, that's all he can get. Okay, cool. Yuna is going to get... Extra three magic defense. An extra three magic... And an extra 20 mana points. And Lulu is going to get an extra 20 mana. And the ability Focus, which raises your magic and magic defense, I think. I think. Oh, and Kimari. Forgot about Kimari. He's not going to learn anything other than three defense. Which might make him a little bit useless in this fight. We'll quickly save it so we don't have to do that again. Cool. Let's go fight this uh, this fiend then, I guess. To the Chocobo Corral. Let's go to the Chocobo Corral. Oh, yikes. He was on the roof of the building the whole time. You'd think you'd be able to hear that, but oh well. Okay. So there are four ways this battle can end. Either they, either the enemy knocks us all off a cliff, we knock the enemy off a cliff, that he kills us all or we kill him. If he kills us all, it's game over. But if he knocks us off a cliff, it's not game over. But we get a little bonus if we kill him or if we knock him off a cliff. So that's what we're going to try and do. First of all, what we're going to do is haste on um, Auron. And he's going to do a normal attack. He's got 10,000 HP. Jesus. Does Dark Attack work on this guy? It does. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Kimari, you might as well do an overdrive while you've got it. Oh, okay, so this guy has got armor. Attack now! Push it back! Uh, you're gonna stop to Lulu. Oh, it worked. We pushed him back. Nice. Uh, Kimari. I mean, we're going to bring Titus out. He's going to use... Haste on Lulu. So now Aura and Lulu are going to get like twice as many attacks as usual. And we're just going to keep peppering this boy. Knock down again. We're gonna bring out. Knock, no, 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 no. We're gonna bring out Waka. And we're gonna do Silence Attack. He's immune to it. Oh, we've knocked him back again, though. Oh, he's gonna knock us straight back. Pepper him! Oh, it's a shame no one out, no one on the field 
has got a sensor, so we can't see how much health he's got left. We've knocked him down again, though. Oh, we've knocked him back again. Oh, and he's going to knock us straight back. Okay. Top you up for Titus. In fact, let's get Kimari out. Because he's got piercing, I think. So he'll do more damage. And he's got sensor. We've got him down to 4,200 health. Not bad. And we've knocked him down again. Knocked him back again. He's down to 2,400 health. We've pretty much nailed this. So yeah, tips and tricks with Jake. Just bought haste on Auron and Lulu. And they'll smash this boy. Uh, we'll bring Yuna out. Just to do a bit of healing, just in case. I don't want need to, because this will probably knock him down. Yeah. And now, if we pepper him enough, we can knock him off the edge. In fact, this might be enough right here. And if that's not enough... Oh, it is enough. Nice. I was going to say the next attack would have killed him anyway. Nice. When I first started playing this game, that was near enough impossible. To be able to knock him off the edge without, like, I don't know. Every single time he'd knock me off the edge. And then once I was able to kill him, but I was never able to get him close to being knocked off the edge. Until Have now. You interest in renting some chocobos? As a token of our gratitude, the first time is free of charge. Please, ask the attendant if you wish to rent. Thank you so much for saving the chocobos. I mean, they should give us a chocobo, never mind, let us rent one for free, but... This is the little bonus we get... For a weaning! Oh, hello. No charge this time. Let me ride one! Hell yeah! Okay, so... Very important information. There is an Albed Primer... On this route. If we had got knocked off the cliff, we can't get this Albed Primer. Well, we can, but we need to go the really long way to get it. Now, we've got to be careful, because knowing me, I'll run past it. Also, if you see a chocobo feather on the floor, it means you can jump from there. See how there's a chocobo feather right here? If I press X. Nice. And we got a heat lance. My bad. Ah, here it is, right here on the floor. Number nine. So far, so good. There's Machen. A safe journey to you. Thank you. Oh wow, he does Thank waffle eventually. So much for your words yesterday. Don't mention it. And we're here. Now this could have been a much longer annoying route. Now we are going to go, th so this is the way we would have had to go if we got knocked off the cliff. Now there's a few little secrets, if I'm not mistaken. First of all, there's a chocobo feather right here. So we can jump. And we get a nice little chest. The thunder blade, very cool. And another chest here. The Scout. And these are all weapons. I think the Thunderblade is for Auron and the Scout is for Waka. Now 
Hey, a chocobo. Oh, hey, it's this girl. What are you doing on this Lucille. Oh, well, you know. I see. The high road ends over there. Thank you. However, we have sealed off the area beyond for the duration of our operation here. You may ask the gate captain up ahead if you need to pass through. Just want to make sure there's nothing I'm missing out on. But I do know if we go all the way back here. First of all, there's a walker. Coming down to the old road was a mistake. You can't run a business with no customers. Say, can I? Then I can still lend guilt to him. There are a lot of crusaders about. I wonder what they're up to. An operation, apparently. But yeah, this is where we would have landed if we got knocked off the cliff. But if we go backwards here, a little cheeky hidden chest. Mars Crest. Now, I don't remember what that's used for, but I know it's very important, so. Positives all round. Oh, oh, yeah, we got another choke for that. A fortune sphere. Not bad. That's something for the sphere grid. Um. Keep your eyes peeled for any choke about feathers. No, nope, we're good. Let's go. But yeah, if we had walked through this, you'd get into all sorts of fights. When you're on a choke about, you don't get into battle, which is awesome. Oh, look, there's Donna. How many times do I have to tell you I'm a summoner? Sorry, ma'am. No exceptions. You dare impede a summoner's pilgrimage? Sorry, ma'am. No exceptions. Useless. Ah, uh, it's Clasco. Hey, Captain Lucille and Elma should have been here by now. They're over there, just chilling. I look, some kids. We're Crusaders too. We have a lot of work to do. My job is to clean up everyone's stuff. And I'm delivering food for the soldiers. Big job, huh? That is a pretty big job, guys. Very important. Alright, let's go. You have to leave your chocobos here. Come on, what? everyone off. Devastation. Alright, we'll walk. Gotta and loser reporting, sir. This is the last of them. Good to have you with us. Go on through. Show me how to play Blitz sometime. Wait around. We'll have Sin beaten in no time. Um, cool. Any donation so that... toward operation? I don't have ten thousand gil, nor do I want to donate. So no. Um, yeah, so we just saw what Luzu and Gata have been transporting, some sort of fiend. Hey, you're a summoner, and her guardians, right? Sorry for the inconvenience. Tell me about the operation. What, they didn't tell you? No, I have We're no idea what's going sin on. Spawn from Oliver Spira here. Sin spawn inevitably draws sin, right? We're going to lure it into a trap. Damn, son. Anyone here want to join my Blitzball team? No? I'm sorry, I can't let you pass. I see. Can't even talk to a random person. So, we meet again, Lady Yuna. Yes? You look troubled. Is there anything I can do? <sighs> well... I see. Maester Seymour, let me show you to the command center. Hold, I have a request. Yes, Your Grace. 
I need to have Summoner Yuna and her guardians let through to the command center. But... but Maester Seymour... Maester Seymour, sir. Do not worry. I will take full responsibility. Very well, they may pass. It is done. Oh, thank you, Your Grace. Yuna, it's time to go. Oh, right. Who does he think he is? He's a maester. Better get used to it, yeah? <laughs> oh, so Don is not going to be happy about this. Well, let's go. We have been granted safe passage. All hail, Maester Seymour. Brave crusaders of Spira, protectors of all Spira. Believe in the path you have chosen. Let faith be your strength. I, Seymour Guado, Maester of Yevon, will bear witness to your deeds today. Sir! What's going on? Why is Maester Seymour back in the Crusaders, eh? They're using Albed's machina. They're violating the teachings. Even going against the teachings? They're willing to risk it for the greater good. Waka, I think Maester Seymour sees that too. <laughs> Lulu! Hmm. I can only speculate. Ask him yourself. Ah, Sir Oran. It is an honor. I would be most interested in hearing what you've been doing these past ten years. I've got nothing to say about it. I see. Sir Aran must be a great asset as a guardian. Your Grace! Please, there's no need for formalities. Excuse me, Maester Seymour. Why is your Lordship presently Present here, sir. Please, speak as you normally would. Uh, isn't this operation against the teachings of Yevon? Aren't you gonna stop them? It's true. I should. Mm -mm. However, both the Crusaders and the Albed truly wish peace for Spira. This Operation Mihen was born from that wish they share. Although it may be sacrilege to Yevon, their intentions are pure. And I, Seymour Guado, the person, not the maester of Yevon, as a denizen of Spira, I wish them well in their endeavor. But using Machina, that's bad, isn't it? Pretend you didn't see them. Uh... <gasps> Beg your pardon, but that's not something a maester should say. Then pretend I didn't say it. You're kidding. From the first time I laid eyes on him, I never did like Seymour. But you know, some of the things he said that day, they made a lot of sense to me. The Mushroom Rock Road to the Temple of Yevon Jose. Okay. A long road of a lot of fighting. I hope you're prepared, because I'm not. Excuse me, Lady Summoner Yuna? Yes. The command center. Maester Seymour requests your presence there, ma'am. Thank you. 
Take that road to the command center. It's not far. We're still in the midst of preparations this way. Sorry. You know what? You can't go forward because Clasco's here. You have to go to the left. But I wonder what would be here if after all this is finished you go back to this area and go check that out. Yeah, maybe in the future we'll come back here and check that out, see what's in that direction. Because as long as I've been playing this game, I've never gone Good that way. Time, lad. <laughs> Sneak past the guards, I did. Uh, I don't know why I've been talking to you. With Operation Nehem prices. But you, lad, you get a discount. I owe you one, eh? Thanks. You owe me more than one. I give you a thousand gil. Watch and weep, Crusaders! Bring it on! Watch and weep, he says, as he gets swapped out for Waka. Enough. Nice. Too easy. I hope there's a save point near here. Aha! I was gonna say, this road is a bit long, and it would be a bit annoying if I died here and went all the way back to wherever it was I last saved. What's up? There is, this is in, this is, I can't talk. There is increasing fiend activity. This may not be much help, but thanks. Alright, so we're going to the command center. Maester Seymour requests our presence. Not entirely sure why. A summoner and our guardians are not going to be much help. With a crusaders operation. Freeze. Oh damn, son. Whoops. I want Kimari. Oh, he's got 13 yeah. HP. Okay. Get out of here. A yellow arm guard? Oh, that could actually be good. Right, we'll just check everyone's abilities real quick, everyone's uh, equipment. The ice brand. If I was in a fire area with a lot of fire fiends, that would make sense, but nah. Thunderstrike isn't going to help us right now. Water Strike and Fire Strike aren't really going to help us right now. What does the Scout do? Lightning Strike and Sensor. The S Ball distills speed. That's pretty good. It makes people drop speed spheres. And Hyper Ball is 5% strength. We're going to go for the 5%. And the Lightning Ward against some of these fiends that do a lot of lightning damage is also super useful. And that's it. Cool. Let's go. Hey, Lucille. Talk to me. Oh. Still doesn't kill. That's a shame. The only issue is when you've got Auron and Wacker and Tidus, there isn't really any use for Kimari. Because he's not the fastest, he's not the most accurate, and he's not the strongest. <laughs> so it's very easy to leave him out. But we're going to try and use him as much as possible. Because I'm sure once he's stronger, everyone's going to have their uses. 
And this is just like the um, the Meehan High Road, where every every passerby will give us an item. Okay, so first of all, let's use Dark Attack here. And then with Auron, we're going to get Yuna. See, we're starting to gather our overdrives now as well, but we're only going to use them if we need to. Like, this dude's got 4,000 HP, which is... It's, it's kind of a big deal, but... Is he? Like, we know how we're going to beat him. Wacker's like my strongest character now by far. Um, what we're going to do is just give him a haste. This be quick. Give him as many attacks as possible. But as strong as Wacker is, he hasn't got piercing. So we still need Auron for the armoured fiends. Go on. Miss away. Very cool. You know what, let's risk it. I reckon we can kill him. Oh, 395. We ain't gonna kill him. Screw it. We'll take a hit, I guess. I guess we'll all take a hit. End him! Nice. Uh, let's keep on moving. Lucille, you want to talk to me now? We've been expecting you. Please proceed to the command center. Thank you. Worth it. Oh. Preemptive strike? I cannot be mad. What? At this rate, Tyus is going to be out of the job. You're looking we got a preemptive strike so we can get two turns in a row. Otherwise someone would be getting hurt by fire right now. A remedy, nice. Cures all ailments, I believe. Anything over here? Always gotta be on the lookout for the Albed primers. I mean, I'm fairly sure there's none in this area, but you've got to keep your eyes peeled. We're about to head to a Crusader and Albed operation, so... You want some of this? Although I don't think there's an Albed primer in the area, I'm not entirely sure. No problem. I mean, ideally, I should haste Tidus first. Because then everyone else can get hasted quicker. But I always try and haste the strongest person first. There we go. This is over now. It's just over. Now I bury them. Bury him. Bury him. Told ya. You tell him. You tell him, Titus. Okay. Let's keep on moving. Hey, Shalinda. In the end, I wasn't able to stop them. As you can see. But seeing their fierce determination, I couldn't just sit there. I feel you. So I decided that I would do everything in my power. To help them. Hey, if you can't beat them, join them. Truly, I know nothing of the ways of fighting, but I do know some white magic. I'm hoping that will be of some use to them. Is there anything I can do to help there you? There we go. 
Talk to her three times, and you can get yourself healed. Nice. I mean, she gets out of breath by healing someone once. So she's not the best in a in a combat situation like this. Uh oh. Now this is what I was worried about. We're getting ambushed in this place. Okay, you can leave Titus alone. Thank you. That's not that bad. Okay. Um. Tell you what, we're gonna do. We're gonna summon. If we can get an A on overdrive, just locked in the bank for whenever we need it, you can't complain. And two of these fiends do fire attacks, which are going to heal Ifrit. So this is a pretty easy fight. Whereas if we fight him with our normal characters, it's a lot more difficult than it needs to be. Very nice. Plus I need to use Yuna more, and this technically counts as using Yuna. Because the more that she gets stronger, the more her Aeons get stronger. To be fair, I should get rid of this guy first, shouldn't I? We go. Now Ifrit can end this fight with full health. It's a bit long because this guy's weak to physical attacks. I mean strong against physical attacks, but nice. And we didn't use any MP and we didn't lose any HP. Come on. Let's go. Right, Lucille, you show off. I had a chocobo before. Thank you. Oh. Um, okay. Don't miss this, please. Don't attack Kylos, please. Nice. Um, you know what? We won't bother healing him. There's no point in wasting an item. We can heal him with Yuna's cure. Uh, abilities. Yuna cure. And we'll heal Waka as well. Why not? Do you say anything different now? The presence of a maester and a summoner is great for the troops' morale. Myself included. Thank you for being here, my lady. Hey, don't mention it. What's up, Elma? Lady Summoner, what are you doing here? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Titus, bro. 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 Titus could be the reason we die. You know what I'm saying? That's not good enough. And you know what? Um... Screw it. What?! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get Yuna out just to heal Titus. Just to get her some experience. I do feel like Yuna is like the most important person to level up quickly. Because one, her high level, her high end, end game abilities are very good. But two, 
The Aeons get stronger as well. And the Aeons can come in clutch to help you out later on in the game. Told ya. And it's very easy to neglect the Aeons. Hey, what's up? You want to give me stuff? Thank you. Appreciate ya. Oh, where does this way lead? I'm actually not sure. Oh, nice. A serene armor. I want to be a bit careful because... You know, these guys can mess you up. Especially this one in the middle. Because he can do a move that sends everyone to sleep. And when you get sent to sleep, you can only get waken up with a physical attack. Screw it. A bit unnecessary, but screw it. Anything to get the Aeons more experience. Please fight with us. Uh, we'll just do Lizard. Might be enough to kill him in one. Nice, just about. Alright, tips and tricks with your boy. Have I spoke to you? Thank you. They all, look, they all look the same. Tips and tricks. We're about to... Hello? Do you see that? Do you see that over there? Alright, tips and tricks that I didn't even mean to tips and tricks with. We have found an Albed Primer. This is 100% one that I've missed out on many times in the past. And by, so when, I many, when I say many times, I mean every time. Because this one is completely new to me. And this is the move that messes you up. Luckily, I've put silence on him so he can't use fire. Alright, tips and tricks. There's a hidden Albed Primer right here, which I've never seen before. Nice. Nice. That's definitely one that I've never had before. That's crazy. Um... As you wish. Gotta be careful. Ah, oh, crap. Oh no. Oh, this could be very bad. Oh no. Oh, what have I done? Magic doesn't wake you up. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Jesus, just get out of there. That won't go so easy on you next time. Oh my word. That could have been a lot worse. That's why those guys are more difficult than they need to be. Oh, abilities, unit, cure. Because all you gotta do is let that dude send you to sleep and then there's no way you can wake up you gotta wait for yourself to wake up naturally okay so what I meant was when I said tips and tricks is 
There's a secret conversation here. First of all, you see Ga uh, you see Ga run down there, which is, sort of gives you a clue. But you're supposed to go up here, up the lift. I want to talk to you and get an item. But if I go down here, you get a little secret cutscene. Why only you, sir? I want to fight too. Orders are orders. I'm not a cadet anymore, sir. Let me go with you and I'll prove it to them. Guarding the command center is important too, you know. But I came all the way from Besaid to fight Sin, sir. I know, but an order's an order to your post crusader. But, sir! You think that's enough of it? I could go on the lift now? No! You get back down there! God damn it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna play games. I am not risking it. Get out of here. Get out. Oh my god, it's the log. Get out of here. And we are going to dismiss this young boy. Because it's going to be quicker just to hit him once with the, uh, with Lulu. Through, huh? Hmm. Gata deserves better. At least there's no chance he'll get hurt. Why are you guys fighting anyway? Aren't the almighty Albed Machina enough? They still need some time to get them ready. Our job is to keep Sin at bay till they're done. <clears throat> Waka, I might not get another chance to say this. It's about your brother. Luzu, no! What? I'm the one who convinced him to enlist. Mm. <sighs> I'm sorry. Walker! That's enough, Walker! When we used to play Blitz together, Chapu used to say... He say that when we won the cup, yeah. He proposed to Lulu. And then one day, he goes off and becomes a crusader. Just like that. <sighs> Chapu also said to me... ...that being with your girl... ...is good. But keeping Sin far away from her... ...is better. Lou, you knew? 
Luzu told me before we left. <laughs> she hit me too. All crusaders in the vanguard are to assemble on the beach. That's my cue. Luzu, don't die out there. So you can hit me more? Lots, lots more. <gasps> Suluzu, please. Please don't go. I have to, Yuna. Let him go. The man has already chosen his path. As you did when you became a summoner. It would be a long time before I ever really understood the reason why Yuna let Luzu pass that day.